Good morning and welcome to Today on Saturday. I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Coming up soon on the program, we'll meet Sheikh Ahmed Didat, the Muslim missionary who chose Good Friday to deliver a message many Christians regard as an affront. First this morning to a story that has scandalised local church leaders this Easter weekend. Sheikh Ahmed Didat is a South African Muslim missionary who's in Australia to deliver a provocative message in his lecture, Easter, a Muslim Viewpoint. In a country that prides itself on the right to free speech, it is not the content of his lecture that's caused affront, it's the timing. Sheikh Didat delivered his speech on the most solemn day of the Christian calendar, Good Friday. Sheikh Didat joined me earlier. Good morning to you. Good morning, ma'am. What's the purpose of your visit to Australia? My purpose is to educate my people, as well as the Christians in this country, in regards to our relationship with Christianity because Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith for its followers to believe in Jesus. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus. See, the bulk of mankind, the non-Muslims, they do not know that in this holy book of ours, the Holy Quran, is enshrined Jesus Christ. That in this vast volume, you know, Muhammad, the so-called author of this book, the Quran. He is mentioned far less time than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ in this book is mentioned 500% more times than Muhammad. But you don't believe that the Christian version of what happened at Easter is that the is, correct version? That is true. What, so what's says, your version? No, no. So he says now, number one, that people don't know that we believe in Jesus as one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe in his miraculous birth which many modern-day Christians, including the bishops of the Anglican Church, they don't believe today, but we believe. We believe that Jesus was the Messiah, translated Christ. And we believe that he gave life back to the dead by God's permission, and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. And we believe that God took him up, and he's coming back. Now, all this the Christian doesn't know. He only knows that, no, we disagree. 